Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Policy, the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you well. Uh, we are back again to updating you on a number of issues that may be affecting your lives, that may be affecting the whole of Africa, that may be affecting migrants. Uh, in this particular instance, I want to respond to questions from Zimbabweans who are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit, uh, especially those who are wondering what they should be doing now uh, considering that there was an announcement that was made by the Minister of Home Affairs towards the end of last year where he extended the validity of the Zimbabwe exemption permit to the 31st of December this year and also introduced a new permit, a, a new exemption permit which is going to be valid up to uh, the end of 2025. So people have been calling us some have been sending us uh, WhatsApp messages, some have been inposting us on Facebook asking what they should do. So this is what I'm going to respond to. Those are the questions that I'm going to respond to. Uh, the first question is coming from those who have already applied for their waivers and those who have already applied for their payment. They want to know because they received, uh, many of you who applied for themselves, uh, have received already an, uh, an, an email from the Department of Home Affairs giving them a link on which to apply for the new Zimbabwe exemption payment. So people have been wondering if this cancels out the waivers that they applied for so that they can then apply for the new payment. So the answer to you is that if you have already applied for the waiver and you are awaiting your outcome or if you have applied for the waiver uh, and still have to submit your application that is your to submit your documents at GFS or you have applied for an exemption permit after having been granted a waiver you need to ignore the latest uh, email from the Department of Home Affairs because what it means is that your application is already on the process because if you apply for a waiver, you need to continue uh, waiting patiently for the outcome of that waiver. If that waiver comes out, uh, you then go on and apply for a, a mainstream South African permit. If you've already applied for a waiver and you have submitted uh, your application and have been granted that particular waiver, you need to go on and apply for a, a mainstream South African permit that you believe you qualify for. Usually it's the general work visa for those who do not have uh, any special skills or any special qualifications. Uh, then if uh, you haven't applied for the waiver or the mainstream permit, what you then need to do is to then go to the VFF web, uh, VFS website, choose uh, the Zimbabwe, the new Zimbabwe exemption permit and apply for it. But that doesn't mean that um, the applications for waivers have been closed. You can still go on and apply for a waiver even with uh, the rollout of this permit having been done because the department hasn't said that people should stop applying for waivers but what it has done is that it has rolled out this new Zimbabwe exemption permit. So that is where we stand. And then there are many people who are asking if this new exemption permit uh, can be applied for by anyone. The answer to that is that um, it is clearly stated that this is only for those who are holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permit. Hence, when you go to submit uh, your documents on the day of your appointment at VFS Global, you need to have a copy of the Zimbabwean exemption permit that you already have. So this is where uh, the department stands at this particular moment. So the new permit and the waivers are for those who already uh, have the Zimbabwe exemption permit. But yes, those who don't have Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, have also been asking if they can apply for waivers. The waivers have always been there. They are not specifically for ZEP members, but right now the ones that have been applied for are for those that are on ZEP. So if you want to go ahead 
and apply for a waiver and you don't have any type of permit, you can go ahead because it is something that is allowed even for anyone, but you will not be treated like those who are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So we don't know what criteria you need to satisfy if you don't have anything and you want to apply for, the, for a waiver because first and foremost, you need to be based in your home country and you must have valid reasons why you are applying for a waiver when you know you don't qualify for anything. So this is the, the situation on the ground. But for those who are already on the ZEP, they were given some special form of treatment in as far as them qualifying for mainstream South African visas uh, is concerned. And then there are those who have already been granted waivers and they seek to apply for the mainstream permit and they've been wondering where to get some of the documents that are required. So now if you need any uh, guidance in as far as where you can get a particular document, um, where you can get, for example, the doctor's report, what your employer should provide for you and all the other stuff, we are always at hand to assist you. You can WhatsApp us on 073-962-3075, 073-962-3075. We don't uh, manufacture documents, but we can only give you guidance as to what your employer needs to do, what, uh, where, which doctor or what kind of a doctor you can go to to try and get the doctor's report and all the other stuff. And then those who have been asking about fingerprints, what has been happening is that the Department of Home Affairs has changed the requirement for fingerprints, especially you will remember that last time people were required to go back to their home country to get uh, the police uh, clearance. Right now, if you have been lived in South Africa for about the past six months, you just need to get your police clearance at your, nearest, at your nearest police station here in South Africa. What you do is you go there, they get your fingerprints, and then they do all the police clearance because what they'll be checking is, are you uh, a wanted criminal? Do you have a criminal offense that is existing? Or are you in the clear? So I hope we understand each other on that. But if you have any question in relation to the Zimbabwe exemption permit, feel free to WhatsApp us on the given number that is 073-962-3075. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.